Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through all the options inside of the writing settings of your WordPress site. So here we are on the dashboard. To get to the writing settings, we go in the left menu, hover over settings, and then click on writing, which is usually the second entry on that menu. Then we have a very short page that has all the settings for writing. And the very first one involves formatting. <laughs> So if we check this box, it, it basically tells you what it does. It converts these typed faces, so this would be a smiley face, this would be a face with a, with a tongue sticking out. It converts those into graphics when the post is published. So you can either check or uncheck that. The second one, uh, it says WordPress should correct the invalidly nested XHTML automatically, which means if you have tags, if, if you know HTML, first of all, you need to know it. But if you do know it and you use it and you have tags that are misaligned, so if they're pro improperly nested, WordPress then goes and tries to fix them automatically. If your HTML nesting is very complicated, it may not get it right. So it's best not to rely on WordPress to do this. It's best that you make sure you do it right in the first place, which often involves just double checking, and that's really all it takes. Next, we have the default post category. So you can choose here if you, if you create a post, this is the category that it defaults to. By default, uncategorized is the one it goes to, and that's not pretty. Like if, if you just quickly post something and it goes to the uncategorized, uncategorized category, and that's displayed on your site, it looks a little hokey. So here, you could, for example, create a category called creative, and then every post you make is defaulted to that category. So if you quickly post it and you forget to choose a category, it's going to be one in one that hopefully, if you did this right, fits. Then you also have the default post format you can choose from. This will be theme dependent. Not all themes will have all these post formats. So if you want, uh, usually just a standard is the one that you want. But if you, uh, if you have a portfolio site, and what you really often do is publish galleries, for example, that could be the default post. So that would be one less setting you have to set when you create a new post. The next section is post via email. This is a very underused feature of WordPress. You can actually type an email in your email account, email it to your WordPress site, and it can post that email as a blog post. And these are the settings to make that happen. So you need to have a mail server. This is just an example, as it says. So on your, on your, in your host, you'd have a mail server set up. We're not going to go into it in this video because that's outside of the context. I just want to walk you through all the options in the writing settings area. But you put in your mail server, you put in a login name, and you put in a password. And you want to make sure that your login name and password are very, very difficult to guess and never give it out to anybody. Because whoever has those can send an email containing anything they want to your WordPress site and have that posted automatically. Which, you know, if you have friends who are kind of crazy, it could end up ruining your reputation or ruining your business. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep that very secret. In fact, I usually never even set this up. So that I rarely use it. If you're someone who's on the go a lot, this might be very handy, but for me, it's, it's not useful. And then you can choose the default category that the mail, your email, uh, your emailed posts should be assigned to. And at the very bottom, there is the update services option. So when you publish a new post, WordPress by default automatically notifies this website, Pingomatic which basically goes out and pings a bunch of other websites. And pinging means they just notify them. So whenever you post something, a bunch of sites that Pingomatic notifies are then notified automatically for you. You can actually have a whole list of sites that you ping in here. Just, just Google um, ping notification websites for WordPress, and there'll just be a whole list that you can copy and paste in here. And then all of them are notified when you publish content. And theoretically, I haven't ever really seen any benefit from this, but theoretically, the more people who are notified, the more sites that are notified, the more your content gets out there, the more traffic you get, in theory. I've never actually seen it work that way, so I never even change this option. I just keep it as the default. 
And that is the last option on this page. And you may have plugins that extend the functionality in the writing section, so they might add stuff that we haven't gone over. These are just the defaults. So once these are all set and you're happy with them, you can click on Save Changes at the bottom, and you're done. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, check out our social media, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write tutorials about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.